This is kind of a, a cool game that uh, you may or may not have heard about yet. Dawn of the Plow. Um, I, it sort of blew up my Twitter feed this week. A lot of people uh, uh, were playing it, and it's not just on iOS. Um, you can get it on Android, and I think on Indie Game Stand they have it for PC and Mac and Linux as well. Um, so the idea, of course, is to plow snow, as you can probably guess, but the controls, you speed up or slow down by uh, swiping up and down on the screen, and then you just tap the different directions to uh, redirect your your uh, snow plow, as it were. Ah, I'm going to miss the power-up. But it's, it's a lot harder than it sounds, as you're about to see. It's it's one of those games where the controls are... You know, he's sliding around in the snow because it's snowy, and and he's a slow turner because he's a plow, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a challenge. But the idea is to clear as much snow as you can so that the cars can get home, and every car that gets to their destination, you get a point for. There are big mounds of snow take more to go through. Except now they don't, because I got the Mountain Buster. Ah! There we go. Yeah, it's a, it's a game that uh, has those nice, you know, if you can reach them, power-ups. That keeps things feeling fresh and different as you're going through. Yeah, come on, I'm so close! What do I got? Cheerful Worker. Alright. People are happier with me. Less fresh. I also have a horn. Because horn. So many cars everywhere. Ah. I almost hit that one. Oh no! I had a salt cannon, but I unfortunately crashed. Yeah, Dawn of the Snow or Dawn of the Plow, I think it's called. The Dawn of the Plow or Dawn of the Snow Plow. But yeah, it's it's on every system all of a sudden out of nowhere today, and uh, seems to be getting some pretty cool buzz. And I, I'll be honest with you, I get it. I'm playing it, and I'm I'm kind of hooked. It's it's that kind of frustrating. It doesn't control the way you want it to sort of game, and that makes it better. Um, not not you know out of poor design, but because snow plows are hard to control. So now you're controlling something that is really hard to control. It turns slowly. It slides in snow. Ah, come on, no, don't hit that car. There we go. Want to get me? There we go. So now I can move on the slow uh, snow a little better. Yeah. Ah, I tried to slow down, but I sped up. Well, I didn't speed up. So here, we'll start going. we can even go backwards if we want. And drive this thing backwards. Why not? Let's plow backwards. Boop. Actually, let's get rid of the big mound of snow. Got it. See. I'd be great at driving a snowplow with my thumbs on a touchscreen. Come on! Oh, that's a car. I'm not supposed to plow a car. Now, there's a comment right now in our in our Twitch comments. Someone saying that it looks better than Flappy Bird. You know, it is, but it's that same sort of frustratingly fun game that Flappy Bird is. Flappy Bird is a game that I equally love and hate. And if I have enough time, I may even play a little bit today right here on Twitch, because it's Flappy Bird. Everyone's playing Flappy Bird. I'm terrible at Flappy Bird. I mean, everyone's terrible at Flappy Bird. That's the whole point, right? But, um... But I'm terrible at this, too, and I'm having just as much fun. Thought on there this morning, so. And I'm also kind of curious about how it controls on a PC. Well, I guess they'd be, you know, left and right controls, right? But I don't know. There's just something about holding it in your hand the way I, I am, and it's cool. Ah! Car! Why are you a car? All right plowing going on. Let's see if we can get to a score of 10. Let's make that our goal today, guys. Gotta have goals in life, right? There we go. 
Oh, can I get it? Can I get it? No, I'm sliding too far. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Dang it! Eh. All right, let's see what we can do. Did I just back into a car right off the bat? No, I didn't. Look, I'm stuck. Oh, good. All right. Ah! Ah! But I'm, I'm personally quite bad at, uh, at multitasking when it comes to games. Like, I can't watch a game, or I can't play a game and watch a TV show. That's just, my brain doesn't work that way. Um, but Flappy Bird is one of those rare games where it totally does. I was able to sit there last night and have a detailed and in-depth discussion on a very important topic in my household last night for about two hours while I played Flappy Bird the whole time. Salt Cannon! Nice! Oh, I like salt. Well, look at the Salt Cannon! I want another one of those. Let's see if we can get another one of those. Yeah. Must clear roads of snow. Is anyone else watching this and also under three feet of snow right now? Or is that just me? Yeah. It's been a bad, heavy winter, hasn't it? It's a perfect winter for a game like this. Oh, you turn so much better on the roads. Unfortunately, the cars do too. Yeah. Oh, traction! I want traction! It's like super off-road, but with snow. And nothing like super off-road. That's okay. Ah, ah, can I help you? Can I help you? I helped you. I'm helpful. Yeah. Honk my horn, y'all! I see our chat feed is very active. I promise I will read it as soon as I'm dead. Salt cannon! Ha ha ha! Oh, I didn't get the other mound. Come on now. Eh? My goal was 10. We're at 6. Can we do it? I'm trying, car. I'm trying. It's not as easy as it looks, and I don't want to hit you too, man. Oh, that, that. I get it. You're unhappy. Complain to the city. Oh, we're up to a score of eight. Ah! Nuts. Well, we got to a score of eight. Should we try it one more time? All right. The Dawn of the Plow. Right now in the App Store, buck ninety nine, and is also an indie game stand. Go give it a shot, guys. This is really cool. Now I got control. And if you're watching this and riveted by my inability to control a snowplow, and you're not following us on Twitch yet, go ahead and give that uh, little heart button a, a click. Wouldn't kill you. We do this at least once a week, and uh, we're starting to do it a little bit more. If, uh, In fact, if you tuned in on Tuesday... You would have been here for a complete playthrough of Broken Age, beginning, middle, and end, right there uh, about two hours before it launched. Ah, oh, boo, we rear-ended the guy. And that was good fun. We had a good time doing that. Um, so it's not just iOS games, though. We do love our iOS games. Uh, we are going to start uh, trying to spend some more time in PC stuff as well. And, uh, and if we can get it figured out, we may even start streaming some Android stuff, which would be great because I don't know about you guys, but I've been playing an awful lot of Out There on Android. Um... It's not on the Play Store yet. It's uh, available for pre-order, but you get access to the Android beta when you do it. Um, I want to say outtheregame.com or outthere.com. Just Google out there game, or better yet, go on Games Ebo and search it because we have written about the beta before. Um, and it's if you have an Android, it's really well worth it. Um, kind of a spacey roguelike sort of thing with uh, with no combat. It's it's very turn-based strategy. 
you know, you're trying to collect different components to build new things and make it from one end of space to the other. It's cool. It's very difficult, but it's cool. Four. Ah! Why can't I plow cars? I want to plow cars. Don of the Plow is on Google Play, too. Thank you very much for the comment and letting us know, which is awesome. Um, in fact, if someone's bored, well, uh, well, I hope you're not bored. I hope you're entertained. If someone is good at multitasking, which we've already covered, I'm not, and uh, and watching the stream. If someone wants to go to IndieGameStand.com and let me know, just let me know if I'm crazy or not. Um, does the one purchase there get you the PC, Mac, Linux, and Android versions all for the same price? I think it does, but I'm not 100% sure. Just figure if you're going to buy it on Android anyway. Why pay the $1.99 on the Google Play Store when you can go to Indie Game Stand and then have it for your PC as well if you want it, right? I like options. I'm a man who likes options. Ah! I was doing so nice that time. Alright. Well, I won't bore you guys too much longer with this. I am having a great time playing it, though. Um, but I'm sure we can move on to, uh, to another game. Well, I say just a moment. Give me a few. I'm having fun. If you don't like it, you can run your own damn Twitch channel. Here we go. You know what? I'm just going to pause it for a moment, because as we're playing, I noticed that uh, our, our information on, um, on Twitch is reflecting our last week's uh, play. So it says I'm playing Front Wars right now, which is totally not true! Dawn of the Plow, much better. All right, let's hit resume. There we are, folks. Yeah. Oh, and look, we got another power-up waiting for us. Can we get to it? Maybe, baby. Ah! Almost. Jeez, it would be nice if it was the traction one so I could get to it. Aha! Mound Buster, I'll take it. Ah. Yeah, so if I get to 10 points, I unlock the next board, the medium board. This is the small one. I feel like the bigger ones would be a little bit easier because you're not constantly running off the edge. So if we can get to 10 points, we can see what the medium one looks like, and that would be pretty great. If any of you are better at this than me, feel free to come to my house right now. Take the phone from me and show everyone. Eh. This game is terrific. <laughs> Come on, eh, eh. Ah, I just missed it. Traction. I like traction. Let's get some traction, shall we? There we go. Traction is one of those things that will certainly help you get closer. No, I was coming to save you. What are you doing? Ah! Not fair, man. All right. One more run, and then we'll go check out another game. And maybe we'll come back to this one a little bit later. Because honestly, I'm not sure if any of the games we have this week that have come out um, are things that really necessitate a super long play to show you what came out this week. Which is kind of a bummer. If anyone has any requests on new releases to check out this week, let me know in the comments. We uh, we might be able to squeeze something in that we don't have planned. So like I said, it seems to me like we're going to have a little more time on our hands than I expected. Which is great if we just want to sit here and watch me snowplow and or play Flappy Bird in a little bit. I feel like I've gotten better at this as we've been playing. That's a good thing. You want to get better at things. Ooh, traction. Ah, no, 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 no. Boo. Oh, I really like this game, guys. I know I said last time, but what am I going to say? I'm a bad person. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Last time. Really last time. And if it's not, may you forever hate me for not moving on to the next game. Although, I'll be frank, I think any other game we play today is going to have a hard time living up to this. This is really cool. Oh, 
Oh, turn faster. I'd love a turn faster thing. That would be a great option. Well, I guess the traction is that, right? When you have traction, you can turn faster, so I'm not going to... Come on, clear that spot out of the road. It's going to be a mound soon. Ah! Ah, get out of the way! I want traction! Ah! There we go. No! No! Oh. That didn't work out well at all, did it? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We may come back to this in a little bit. It's Dawn of the Plow. Um, definitely on uh, on Inside, uh, or I'm sorry, on Indie Game Stand. Definitely on uh, the App Store. Definitely on Google Play. So give it a shot. Obviously, this was $1.99, very well spent. Um, very much looking forward to playing a little bit more.